Hey, do you know? Who is penury? Who is badinage? Who is cocophonous? To know about different words for common phenomenon, please keep watching this video till the end. Before we go in, please subscribe for more videos. Click the bell icon for updates. Today, let us look into English vocabulary which talks about words of common occurrences. What word aptly describes dire poverty? Penury Penury is derived from Latin word penuria which means need, neediness, is dire, abject poverty, complete lack of financial resources. What word aptly describes emotion experienced without direct participation? Vicarious You can experience an emotion in two ways. First and through actual participation or vicariously by becoming empathically involved in another person's feelings. Vicarious is derived from Latin noun vicious which means change, alternation or state. What word aptly describes something which lasts a very short time? Ephemeral Some insects exist for only a few hours or days. One such short-lived creature is a dayfly which in Greek is known as ephemera. Hence, anything so shortly lived, so unenduring that is scarcely seems to outlast the day may be called ephemeral. What word aptly describes an inoffensive word for an unpleasant idea? Euphemisms A euphemisms is a word or expression that has been substituted for another that is likely to offend. It is built on the great prefix eu which means good and the root fame which means voice and the noun suffix ism etymologically something said in a good voice. What word aptly describes light and easy banter? Badinage Badinage is a half-teasing, non-malicious, frivolous banter intended to amuse rather than wound. It is derived from a French word Badiner, which means to jest and banter. Before we move on, let us recall what we have discussed so far. Penury Vicarious Ephemeral Euphemisms Badinage What word aptly describes someone who is cow-like in his stolidity? Bovine Bovine, placid like a cow, stolid, patient, unexcitable, is built on the Latin word bovis, which means ox or cow, plus the suffix ein, which means like, similar to, or characteristics of. What word aptly describes homesickness? Nostalgia Nostalgia is built on two Greek roots, nostos, which means return, and algos, which means pain. What word aptly describes the harsh sound? Cocophonous Cocophony is itself a harsh sounding word and is the only one that exactly describes the unmusical, grating, ear offending noises you are likely to hear in man made surroundings. Cocophony comes from a joining of a Greek prefix cock, which is taken from the kakos, which means bad, and phone, which means sound or voice. So it means bad sound. What word aptly describes the meat eating animal? Carnivorous. Carnivorous is from Latin root carnis, which means flesh, and voro, which means to devour. What word aptly describes something kept secret? Clandestine. Clandestine comes from Latin word clam which means secretly and implies secrecy or concealment in the working out a plan that is dangerous or illegal. Can you recall the words we have discussed so far? Harsh sound Cocophony Having a short life. Ephemeral. 
dire poverty. Penury Substitution of an indirect phrase for a possibly offensive one of the same meaning. Euphemism Experienced as a spectator rather than as a participant. Vicarious Acute feeling of homesickness. Nostalgia Light, half-teasing banter. Badinage Subsisting solely on meat. Carnivorous Cow like stolid. Bovine. Secret. Clandestine. Thank you so much for watching. Please like this video and do share.